Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me as I try to show off the best of modern retro gaming. Today we are continuing our adventure with a Coromon, an awesome monster training game that is out for demo right now and is going to be released soon. So it's a lot of fun. I'm very excited for this game and I can't wait to explore more of it. It, what we're doing now something that I just noticed um, Is that I was I believe I read the dev mentioned that the level That you can get to in the demo is like 23 or something to that effect somewhere around in there uh, So it looks like and considering that it also looks like that it is uh, This would be a good place to stop the demo once I get up to the Titan. So I'm thinking that we're going to be coming to the end very soon, but we still have a lot more to explore in this game. So I do believe we're gonna be running some more here. I would like to check out the other, I don't know which way to go, the other uh, starters as well. So there's, you know, I picked one, there's two other starters that we can see and explore. Oh, I got a Jubo fruit. Uh, to kind of get an idea of some of the other things that we can't do so that will be um, Coming up after we finish this one. There is the uh, Fire and the snow Cormon, and I chose the water one so we could explore those ones as well as other Difficulties as well. Oh, he has four. This is gonna be a good fight uh, a movie. I'm not sure I know what a movie is. Oh, I think a movie does really bad against cut types. Um, which I believe this is a sand attack. That's a normal attack. I believe this is a cut attack. Um, so yeah, we got the other, um, uh, starters to try out and we got also other, um, difficulties to also to try out and what's really cool about the difficulties is that uh there are very similar to like these nuzlocke i think that's how you pronounce it nuzlocke style uh that's often done in the pokemon uh games so i'm really excited uh to have those difficulties built into a game and uh see how those uh, affect the game. So we're going to go straight up to a boulder barrage and see how well we can Ouch that See how well that boulder barrage will do Not too bad, but I got hit pretty hard there. So I'm not sure this is gonna. Oh, I gotta go again sweet He's my quick type. He's the fast little hitter uh, So yeah, he got the, a double attack there, which is awesome um, I'm not going to go for boulder barrage again. I just don't I mean it would definitely knock him out But I'm trying to save my SP a little bit and I was hoping that something a little less would take care of him and it did So Muffles up to 19 sweet. Oh, he's evolving sweet. We get to see another evolution What does a muffle turn into? Uh, he's a weasel so maybe a dragon or a uh, I don't know a crap. Oh, I like it. I like it. It's more like a dig mall dig mal. Uh, yeah, so it's more like a, a dragging kind of uh, Pokemon or a Cormon Pokemon foo Wow Messed that one up. So we're gonna do uh, Speed is what I was gonna be pushing. Let's do as good uh, Hit points in a good no, you know what I want to reset that let's do attack and then double up on speed. I want him to be my fast little wally guy. So we'll see how that goes. Um, let's do, I think he's a sand time. I'm thinking that Fiddly is also a sand time, so I'm not sure. Yeah, it's not gonna be very effective, which is, uh, let's switch him out. Uh, Slitherpin has not evolved yet. My powder bit has not evolved yet either. So those are the two that I have that are currently not evolved. So we'll have to see what they evolve into. And maybe we'll check that out. Maybe we'll find out uh, today what those uh, evolve into. 
Oh, Fury Pitcher, I don't like that one. That's one of the, there's two or three attacks that I've noticed that has a chance to attack from one to three times. And that's one of them. Uh, Mawful has another one that is um, Tail Whip, I think. Um, that um, has a chance of uh, getting um, hit three times. Ooh, it was hurt by the poison. See, that's what I liked about Slytherin. Slytherin is nice because you have that poison, but then you also have this absorb or drain, which takes out the um, hit points and then gives you hit points, which is awesome. Um, but one of the, it used to, I'll keep on calling it absorb probably for a long time because originally, I think in one of the early uh, it, um, versions of the demo, uh, it was called Absorb, and now they've changed it to Drain, which I'm never going to get right. I am never going to remember that. Um, Digmaw earned a little bit for being out there. That's awesome. Oh, we sent out a Bazzer. I have one of those guys, but uh, we're just going to absorb all your health here. Um, what, uh, I, I just did it again. We're talking about it, and I did it again. I'm going to do a Drain. Ooh, that was a nice one. And then I'm going to try to poison him. Um, although that lightning strike might do a good bit of damage. Yep. I think we might stick with... Uh, yeah, I think we're going to stick with Drain. I need that HP. That's the good thing about the Slytherpin. When you have him on your side, but bad when you have him on his side. Um, that lightning, I'm not going to be able to stay up with that lightning. So we're going to have to switch him out. Sometimes I have with um, uh, Slitherpin able to keep up with the damage they, they were doing, uh, which is kind of cool. So you do it, they do a little damage, you uh, absorb some of their uh, health, and then uh, just keep on doing that. And I've had them go through a whole battle and still f uh, be full up on health, which is kind of cool. Um, the Lightning Strike's not going to do a lot of good for me. Um, so we're just going to go with that, uh, slam. Electrify. I don't like, oh, Electrify does something to yourself. Yeah, charged up. And I believe it adds attack or, um, it adds damage, I believe, to the attack. Your next attack, if I, if I recall correctly. That's what energy, e this one does. Electrify, I think is what it's called. So yeah, we'll just take him down slowly here. Not a big deal. Um, that lightning strike's not doing very much to me. And I would rather do these. Since he's depleting my SP, let's just go ahead and... Um, take him down with the last little guy. Also, I've, I forgot to mention early on. I meant, totally meant to say this at the beginning of the video. I am getting over cold, so if I sound a little funny or scratchy, I do apologize. I've tried to wait. I do a lot of my recording over the weekend, and I tried uh, to wait it out, and I am getting better, but not quite there yet. But yes, I am uh, still a little hoarse and scratchly, uh, scratchy, so I am a new intern, so I have no idea how to get around. Okay. So let's go in here and see what's in this box. A Phoenix Stone, okay, that's something that I have, that's another thing that I would like to look into, because I haven't done much, are both of these the same thing? Okay, um, is some of these uh, stuff that you can get, these items here, um, these uh, Velvet Cakes, uh, Detox, oh, a Phoenix, oh, oh, a stone and not a shard, that's cool. Um, well, I got, I got like six of these and I'm trying to figure out maybe I should use some of these. That would probably be nice. Um, that would definitely be helpful on the, some of these battles later on, I'm sure. And again, I, I have done enough. Um, 
I don't think I've done enough without using these things that I figure um, Yeah, let's go and use those that I have enough uh, Money to be able to buy a few if I need to So that's gonna go and take me I Could switch that but I'm not sure what that's gonna do here. It's another box. So let's go ahead and grab that box fight this guy I really do like these instead of having um, a bunch of uh, random encounters through here. I really do like quite a bit that they have it so that you are you have a little bit of a puzzle and then you have the trainer battles as well. So I really think that's a cool uh, way to do it instead of like all the time uh, having a constant. Um, uh, what's the word I want to say uh, constant um, random encounters which is frustrating is you're trying to figure out which way to go find the um, out find the um, trainers and all that stuff it's really frustrating sometimes to you know run into constant uh, what <laughs> random encounters uh, so I'm glad that they have done something a little bit different here. I do apologize. <laughs> my bra obviously my brain is not as working as well either. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and send out Patterbit. No. Yeah, let's go ahead and do send out Patterbit. Just trying to make it through this cold and and uh, be able to get a video out for you guys that was a uh, quite a bit of damage there but hopefully my little uh propeller punch yeah i probably should be doing oh i missed oh that's not good um my um powder bit and slither pin as much as i can so to see if i can get those guys to evolve at some point that lightning strike is going to knock him down pretty quickly um, I'm gonna go ahead and have to switch him out. It looks like I don't want to I don't want anyone KO'd right now. I Think everybody else is evolved. So Let's see if we could hold him off a little bit With this uh, drain I use the correct word there lightning strikes a pretty hard damage and that does do a lot of uh, hit points. I'm going to be ending up pulling out all my Hormon for this fight here. I think oh, Sometimes that happens too Yeah, if he has a, like a very high um, Speed or something like that he'll be able to get out a lot quicker than I can um, Let's go and do my lamprey He's the heaviest, and I know he's electric, so that uh, lightning will not going to hurt him as much. <laughs> Taser has a chance to electrify them. Is that right? Is not affected. Yeah, I think Taser um, has a chance to electrify, or um, I forget shock. I think is what it's called, and what shock does is it has a chance to stun the enemy on its turn so that he does not get a chance to attack so uh shock can be very useful but i usually don't use um as a rule i have not played a lot of monster training games but on a rule i have not used the utility abilities i've always been an, a, an attacker um so that's just the way i play it um but it may not always be the best way to play it Ooh, a static spinner i can't go that way what does this one do it turns that one i can't go that way so i can go that at least lets me go back i have to be what does that take me um where's the circle one? Oh, that's a double 
Yeah, what I think I'm gonna have to do is turn this one, I think, the other way so that I can go up. And there's probably gonna be another switch. Yeah, there's the dot switch I was looking for. Trying to do this at least a little bit methodical so that I can better, there we go, yeah. Better know where I've been and what I have seen and that sort of thing. Let's flip that one. That's the one that was, I don't know where that one's from. And now we're gonna have to flip this one back and go up again. Oh, that's probably what is right there. It was probably going down and it was just gonna push me back down. Is this, no, this is not back to the beginning. Another HP cake. I do not recall where that one was. Shoot. Whoa, this is a totally different area. Is this, is this the beginning? I don't recall. I think that takes me, oh, that does not take me back to the beginning. No, oh, I'm okay. I do believe I'll be all right. Designing the security measures on this floor. Yes, they are very effective, Del4. I'm getting quite frustrated with the uh, security measures. All right, we are going to go ahead and switch him out because he's definitely not going to be able to uh, stand that fight right now. We'll do maybe another couple battles here. See if we maybe can get to the next floor. I, I like I said, I really do in, enjoy the um, I'm not sure um, the way that they're doing these um, levels here. That it's more of a um, a puzzle than the the random encounters. Nope, I don't want to fight anymore. Don't want to fight anymore. We're running now. We're not going to run. We'll send out Armodil. He is, I believe, a sand type? I do not recall, but he's my tank. He's my big... Oh, he must be just a cut type then. Because both these attacks are cuts. Um. Yeah, that works really good. Uh, he's my big defense. He's always when he's um, Had that when I've had the chance to up his stats. It's always been um, Defense and HP I believe So this is not going actually as quickly as I thought it would be uh, So we might get another Ooh, he looks kind of cool uh, Maybe get a couple more uh, um, videos or episodes out of here, but we'll see. Not to worry. There's definitely still a lot to uncover in this uh, game, I, I believe. I would definitely like to check out the two other um, starters anyway. So, oh, I got 10, 10. I've never seen it be that high. But yeah, we're, I mean, like I said, if the level 23 is the top level, we're getting there very, we're going to improve my battle skills instead. I would agree with that. Um, we're getting really close to that max level that we've been told. Um, so ooh, a thousand gold there. What? Okay. So we could turn that one back the other way, which really doesn't help me much because I can't. Where would this take me up here? Still trying to find... Can I go this way? I can't. And I'm not sure where this is taking me. Uh, to another switch. Another switch! I have not seen the diagonal one, which is kind of... Weird, I think. Oh, there it is. But I can't go, there has to be... I have to be able to get up there somehow. And I haven't figured that out yet. So there is one... 
So what happens if I flip this one again? So that's going to go down. There has to be one coming up. There it is. As I'll say, coming up to that one last guy. Okay, I need the horizontal one flip, but I don't know where that one is. I forget. I need to find the horizontal. That is not the horizontal. I think the horizontal one was... Oh, that's a vertical one. Was there not a horizontal one anywhere? How do I get back? Can I can I even get back to the beginning at this point? I think Yeah, this will take me back to the beginning. That's the double dot. Okay, which is this one. That's fine. If I go up I, I, I thought I've hit the horizontal one before. Yeah, I can't do that. But now I am confused about what I need to do. That's not... Ah. See, I gotta flip that one because that just turns that one back the other way. That's not gonna help me at all right now. What if it was this way? There's the angled one. Okay, if I flip the angled one, I can get somewhere else. But so if, let's see if I can get back down there to flip that angle one because I believe in that. Uh, what I don't really need that dot one. Let's flip that angle one and see if that will get me to a new location and that's really what I all I need to do there's probably is some trick into getting that one. Oh, that's not really where I wanted to go oh that's the other way see that's the tricky you have two of the angled ones and they do different things obviously and okay, let's go back but that is actually not going to help me at all to flip it that way because there's no way to get by it now so let's flip that one that one has to stay down if I go now that's the left angle there was a right angle somewhere Let's flip this dot one and see what that does. Yeah. See, there's the up angled, but past the up angled, there is a right. Oh, there it is. That's what I need to do. Is there anything in the vending machine? Oh, a Mubo fruit. Okay. So we've got somewhere again. So let's go. Is there, was there a horizontal one over there? That could have taken me. That will take me over. Okay, so I also could flip the horizontal one to get me somewhere. No, oh, that's not where I wanted to be. Well, that's vertical, not horizontal. Sheesh. Way too many options here. To flip that one and then the other one will take me. There we go. Ooh. A ground cake. I'm not sure what that does. Do they have anything? Oh, a velvet cake. They hide things in their computers. Oh, that was interesting. Okay, not sure how that's going to help me at this point. This is getting maze, very maze-like. The dot one. Okay, I need to hit the dot one again, and I don't recall where that one was. Um... I think it was over here somewhere. Oh, was it that dot one or the other dot? Because there's a that kind of a dot, and then there's like a, a, a like almost like a donut shape. Nope, it was the donut shape one, which I believe is the 
over in this corner somewhere. This is really, really tricky. Let's go and flip that one back the way it was. I need to go back and flip this one. Go this way. And that will allow me to go and take this one around to the dot. There we go. Or donut, I should say. Now I could go back around and flip the right angled one now that should get me where i want to be back up there yeah and then those should be going up now yay look at that we're getting somewhere oh and there's level five oh I'm not so sure about this. What kind of my items do I have? I got five medium health cakes. Let's go ahead and fill everybody up. Okay. That may have been all my health cakes, actually. Oh, I got one more. Um. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, let's, yeah, sure, that's fine. I can handle that as well. SP cakes and there's a combi cake but I think I'm pretty well done except for base uh yeah let's go and do a, a small combi cake on him that will help him out a little bit it'll kind of max his little waste on the SP but let's go ahead and do it so we can get ready for level five Jeffrey Let's go to an Imbival. I don't think oh that would be the evolution of the Starter fire type I would assume um, I'm not sure what's gonna do good Against him, but I do know that boulder Brodge has a chance To knock them down which makes them skip around basically because they have to get back up so they use their turn to get back up which is very useful so you can knock down uh the propeller punch will knock down the boulder Brodge has a ch chance to knock down shock has a which is a, a status effect has a chance to shock which stuns you for that round so there are a few things that you got to be ready for Double slash unlocked. Oh, so what do I want to get rid of? What is that? That's a cut type. That's a cut type. That's a no. I'm going to take off normal and go ahead and put in double slash. There's so many different options here. Maybe I should not do because that's a sand type and that's a sand type. I, I kind of don't want a normal type. Or do I want a normal type? That's my question, basically. Would it be better a sheer tooth? Oh, that would be the evolution of the water. Um, um, what's the word? The um, the water starter, a sheer tooth, a bubble burst. I hope it. Oh, he's sand too. That's going to be really effective. No, no, don't fight. Uh, we need something different. Uh, anything that's different uh, Yeah, water is really good against sand. I believe electricity is really good against water um, There's probably some kind of interconnected. I should have grabbed my one of my uh, um, uh, Electric types is probably what I should have done. But let's see how well he does here with drain Ah, uh, not very good. We're gonna switch him out to an electric type. Bubble Burst is probably gonna knock him out. Oh no, it did no no, don't fight! So I believe I am gonna try it out and pull out Lamprey. I believe electric is good against water. We'll see. It's it's a risk because water could be there there's some kind of thing between these two. 
Oh yeah. Not very effective. So electric is very good against water. And water is very good against sand. There we go. A lot of people have got 347 experience. Oh, Digimau. Did Digimau is now level 22. He's float up there. So Lupin is now 20. Come on, evolve. Ooh, Epiphany. That's kind of cool. Uh, nope. Aurora. Ooh, that must be the evolution of the snow type. Interesting. Now Slitherpin has Drain. And uh, Lamprey has this other one in my energy drain. And when it does, it takes their HP and turns it into SP, which is also very helpful. Can be extremely, extremely useful um, in certain situations. So uh, I really like that as well. Ooh. Let's cut let's see if cut does sometimes it's very odd the different types have a big different effect on the different types but we're gonna have to switch out of here um let's do armadillo let's go armadillo you can take him out you did good lamprey you stood in there did what you need to do come on armadillo let's uh get him uh, and a double slash so he's kind of a water type. He's a water ice type, maybe. I don't know if they have, um, well, some of mine have cut and something else, cut and sand or something like that. So I want to say that there is a chance to have different um, types. I don't know, maybe like water and, um, can you imagine if you'd be working at the top floor? Um, water and something that, you know, water and electricity, for instance. I mean, cut is a very generic one. Well, I think that we are ready to go. That's going to be our episode for today. I might have enough to fill everybody up in the way of items. I also have, um, increased attack stays stage for one battle. I'm not sure what that does. Um, detox ground okay takes the shock off um i do also have a like these fruits do things which is really nice um but a where is um the lux recall so i still have two lux recall and what that takes is takes me back to the lux solace campus so if i get in an issue in which i need to jet i can but right now, I think what we're going to do to be ready for. Let's see what we can do here about filling everybody up and getting them ready for the next. I probably could have used those a little bit better. Um, I only have I need some I definitely need some health cakes. Um, I don't want to use that on anybody right here really um too little um let's go and use that on him and we'll go from there see how far we can get like i said uh we will um go and if i get in trouble i could use that recall or back back out or whatever but we're off to level five in the next episode we'll take uh, see what is on level six and see how oh wait maybe not hey there hello you've come a long way and you even managed to get past security measures yes i'm on a quest for lux solace and i need to reach vault voltgar which is the titan pokemon that we need to get the essence for well, you've almost reached the top. Just one more elevator, but you better make sure you're ready. Lucky for you, we got a checkpoint system in place right before encountering a Titan. You can know there's a checkpoint if you see this indicator. Ah, okay. When you see that, you can return to the interest of the building quickly by taking the interest you came from. In this case, the elevator. Okay. 
And when you enter the building, you can return to that floor instantly. Oh, that's really cool. I also like that they have these little conversations inside the game so that you know how it works a little bit and it's not just giving you stuff. Uh, there's a game of Lux Recall as well. But there is the checkpoint. I did not. Maybe that's the checkpoint. Oh, am I going to face off with the Titan? I hope I'm ready for it. We'll go ahead and do the Titan battle here since we are ready for it, I guess. I do have... I do not... I have some sand types, which I believe is... Oh, yeah, that's kind of scary. Oh, that is a very, very cool. What is this? Who are you to enter my domain? You dare challenge Voltar, the bringer of storms. Wait, I come with good intentions. We will see about that, human. You will feel my might. So, I believe sand is good. Oh, that is a really awesome Gormon. Like, the electricity itself is keeping him together. Super cool. I really like that. He has 411 hit points. Wow. Sand type, I believe, are very good against electricity type. We will see. Very effective. Now, <laughs> do... Oh, he got even knocked down. So sweet. Um, I do not think I have enough to get him down. Uh, but hopefully... Um, if this works like this, this is going to be amazing. If it's just going to be a knockdown every time. Oh, he used Taser. Okay, finally. But he's going to do a lot of damage on me. Oh, I got shocked. That's not good. Because that means I can... Surge punch, it missed. Because I'm fast. The shock means that I can get shocked when I go to attack and lose my chance to attack. But I'm going for it here. This is the only... Ouch. That was kind of cool. I mean, the effect was... Oh, there's another one that could hit three times. Oh, that hurt. Ah, see there, he got shocked and couldn't move. But we have taken... I'm going to go ahead and knock him out. I mean, I'm just going to go through until I knock them out. Hopefully, I will be able to do enough. I don't think I have any more sand types, which is un... Ah, did you think this was almost over? My stores will cleanse me. Oh, I didn't get to read that enough. Uh-oh. So we can heal up? That's not good. The battlefield filled with static spark. Behold the power of bringer storms of static particles will make it more difficult for your Cormon to move. That is not good. He will probably get knocked out here, but we'll see. I've taken him down to under 200. That looks deadly. Oh, knocked him off the screen. Wow. Needs, oh, that's not good. He lowered his guard, which is unfortunate, but let's go. Yeah, I, I wish I had more sand types. I really, really did. But hopefully, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and throw this poison on him, even if it hurts. Because if he gets poison, this... Oh, he's recharging. The poison's going to stay with that Coromon until I knock him out. So we're going to point. There we go. I want him to be poisoned because now every turn he's going to be um, have a chance to get a little damage off of his poison and every few hits are going to make a difference. Now we go to drain because he's such a big battle that I feel that this is going to be a uh, usually I don't use poison or worry about poison a lot. But since this is such a big battle, I feel that it's going to be very important to get those two or three hit points off every turn. It's going to be just that much better to be closer to getting him uh, knocked out, I believe. And he's going down here. Yep. The bye-bye, Slitherpin. You did good. You poisoned him. 
Slither Pin, you did your job. Let's go on. Come on, we can do it. 142 hit points left. 129 hit points left. Let's go. Yeah, Baser, I guess. It's an electric type, so his attack shouldn't hurt him too bad. But we will see. I don't think I'm going to be hurting him too much. 29, 7 points off, but 7 points is 7 points. And even though he's a lot stronger, yeah, it's not going to be that effective, which is good. He's almost under 100. Almost under 100. Come on. Baser, you could do it. Hang in there. Knock him under 100. Okay. Or the poison. See what I'm saying? That little bit every time is really helping me out here. I mean, that's another 30 or 40 uh, hit points that I have. I didn't have to hit him with. It was the poison knocking him off. 78 to 65. That's 78 to 65. That's a 13 each time. That's a big deal. You spark death. Bye bye, Baser. You did a good job. Hung in there well, right there where you needed to. Oh, he's alive with one hit point. Come on, get another slam in there. You could do it. We're almost there. 45 hit points. Come on, guys. Hold up a little bit longer. Surge punch. Okay, Baser, you did great. Good job. Let's go. Come on. Volvo was hit by, hot by this poison. Okay, Patterbilt, let's do that punch. Get out your uh, propeller punch and take him out, buddy. Downloaded the attack. See, I don't know what that does. See, Patterbilt has the ability to download the information from the core mod, but I don't know what that does. Does that give him a better chance of hitting? I, I just don't know. That Petter propeller punch probably will. Oh, almost. Oh, we got knocked down. Sweet. There it is. That uh, between the propeller punch and the um, boulder barrage at the beginning really, really helped me out here. Digma. Digma was my fast guy. So let's do um, attack and speed. Just boom, 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 boom. boom. Bazar Goose to level 21. Sweet. Body Blast. Cool. Here we go. You have basted me, human. Now what? Why have you come here? I'm sorry, but we need some of your Titan Essence. Oh, I just took it like that. That's pretty cool. So that's basically the idea of the game is that you dare take some of my titan essence what do you plan to do with it someone like you cannot even begin to comprehend the power it holds that's exactly what we want to find out but don't worry with luck solace it's in good hands very well do what you must so will i the eye of the storm must remain at donor island but i must recharge my energy before i can bend again Velua counts on me. Oh, interesting. Well, there you go, guys. Uh-oh. I hope I can get out pretty easily. <laughs> that is the end. I know that we ran a little bit uh, long. Oh, what's that? Uh, it's a, I'm getting a phone call. Answer it. Hey, hello, Professor. What's up? Hello, Stingray. It's good that I reached you. We finished analyzing the security footage and we discovered something uh, problematic. Could you meet me and Nicola at the Buzzlet Lab? That sounds bad. I'll be there soon. Okay, see you there, Shine Bright. Shine Bright. Well, there you go. Thank you guys so much for watching. We are going to jump out of here, meet him at the. Um, that's back at the Lux Solus campus. I, uh, that we'll have to meet him. We'll meet him there. Would you like to travel to the in entrance immediately? Yes, I would. Thank you very much. So let's travel back there. We're not going to jump back there in this episode. Uh, we'll finish up. It looks like I'm going to say, 
again i don't know for sure how much they have put into the demo but i he did say that i think i i read or he said that 23 is the max level we could be it just seems like with where i am that would be a good place to end it kind of you got the first essence you get a little bit more maybe of the story and that seems like a good way to finish it but we'll see in the next episode uh, maybe we'll jump uh, in and also do a little bit of another run with another starter. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.